I am Tiana Mangakahia and I was a former professional basketball player. Mangakahia on the wing, puts behind her back, pretty move off the window. That is a beautiful move. I remember going into that meeting with the oncologist and her explaining that my cancer had spread into other areas and that you shouldn't play anymore. And I just remember mum coming home from work and I had the piece of paper in my hand. I was like, no way, like this is happening again. Especially after the season I had just had. And so then I just started crying even more. Manga Kahia probing, assessing her options. Six seconds goes herself, Manga Kahia. That's tough. Obviously had to retire, battling stage four breast cancer at the moment, but you wouldn't know it in the way she rocks up every day, just so positive. Happy. Being partners with the McGrath Foundation is huge. All the help that I've received from my breast care nurse has been more than I could have imagined. That's why the McGrath Foundation initiative to have 250 breast care nurses by 2025 is so important. And I just hope that people that are going through what I'm going through know that this is accessible for them. They have helped me so much and I'm just really grateful for that. Seeing how happy she is around the team, to be around basketball is just such a good reality check. You come in feeling sorry for yourself. She's going through a lot bigger battles. Um, and just, yeah, she's just so grateful to be there every day. I can't speak highly enough of her. It's heartbreaking, isn't it, to hear Tiana Mangakar here describe herself as a former professional basketball player at her age where she should just be coming into her prime and just lit up the WNBL in the time that we got to see her and uh, just heartbreaking to know that she's now battling breast cancer once again. It's year two of a fantastic initiative from the Sydney Flames, their second pink hoops game. Last year it raised more than $20,000 for the McGrath Foundation and Candy Hurts this year they've taken it to another level. They absolutely have. The inaugural year was last year. They managed to raise a massive $20,000 for the McGrath Foundation. That goes towards that aim, like Tiana was just telling us, to have 250 breast care nurses by 2025. This year, Tiana herself has said she is hoping they can double that. The good news is it is a double header this time, so it might be possible. Pink Hoops double header is happening this Sunday. The whole Hoops Capital family are involved. So that's the Sydney Flames and the Sydney Kings. Not only only are they playing their matches wearing their warm-up t-shirts like the one I'm wearing now and beautiful pink jerseys that have been made specifically for Tiana but they're also going to be having lots of activations around the day some education and some fun as well it is all about raising as much money as possible forty thousand dollars is what Tiana's hoping they will get to if you can get down there in your pink outfits that would be fantastic to have this beautiful sea of pink supporting Tiana and those going through breast cancer if you aren't able to get to the game no problems lots of different ways that you can get involved. Jump on the website, use all the details on the screen as well and you will be able to support as well. We're sending all our love to Tiana Mangakahia. She is now the assistant coach of the Flames and we absolutely love her. Thanks Candy. There's an opportunity there. Scan the QR code on your screen. Donate today to the Pink Hoops game supporting the McGrath Foundation and Tiana Mangakahia.